let's go to the tail of the tape. Tail of the tape on this. Look at that record. 20 and 5 for Emmanuel Sanchez, 15 and 3 for Mads Burnell. Both are just outstanding featherweight fighters. First round, are you ready? Emmanuel Sanchez ready? set to Fight. meet Mads Burnell with championship implications. Sanchez, winner of seven of his last nine fights. He's in the red gloves. Mads Burnell looking to extend his win streak to seven in the blue gloves. And immediately, they start throwing punches at each other. There's a little calf kick by Burnell. Burnell having a very high guard here. He knows that Sanchez is a volume type of striker. He comes with all kinds. Look at all those shots he's throwing. He's going to be all over Mads Burnell on the feet. And Sanchez says that experience is going to be his biggest advantage. He says having fought the champ champ Pitbull twice, going the distance with him, and having him teach him a painful lesson in his last fight just made him that much more dangerous. Sanchez says he's never been hungrier and wants to be more aggressive. And an aggressive start by both athletes. Both the bowling going at it. I love this. A lot of action right now. I'm getting throwing a lot of shots. No one trying to throw real heavy. You can see those shots by Sanchez. He's just touch touch right now, which is smart because one of those when you're touching is going to land and start to hurt your opponent. Sanchez doing a good job of landing upstairs. Sanchez doing a good job of going to the body. You saw when he went to the body, he threw it with a lot more power. And targeting the head of Mads Burnell, putting together crafty combinations. Beautiful slashing elbow strike in between the guard of Burnell. Burnell, one of the mistakes he's made is look at what he's doing with his head. He's coming straight at Sanchez and not moving that head at all. Not at all off the center line, and it's right there for the jab of Sanchez. And Burnell, though, striking as well, but out of range. And Burnell has tasted the power of Emmanuel Sanchez early. Push kick by the front kick by Burnell. Nice front kick by Burnell, but it nice over right hand over. It did land. There's a sweeping right behind the guard by Sanchez. So two minutes gone, and they are going tip for tat in the center of the cage. Burnell checks the drop. Sanchez with a right hand. Well, both of these guys are just going after it, but they're going after it smart. If you're, if you're looking at the way Sanchez is doing, He's just trying to touch him with all kinds of different combinations. He's going to the body. He's going up to the head. He's throwing kicks in there. Burnell is going a little bit off in that fight. He's trying to go through all of those combinations just to land one or two. Nice right hand. Incredible onslaught by Sanchez, putting together multiple punch combinations. As the deepest featherweight division in the entire sport, front and center here tonight. Mads Burnell being smart. Look where his chin is at. It's down towards his chest, so that makes it tough. A lot of those shots are going off. Sanchez is for him. Cardio machine marching forward. Well, if there's one thing we know, Emmanuel Sanchez, nice body shot by Sanchez. Emmanuel will not get tired. He can do this all day long. An electrifying start to round one. Look at the strike stats by Sanchez right now. 12 and the, 30 of 92. And the fans in the forum. Sanchez is the black belt jiu-jitsu. He is at a distinct disadvantage on the ground against Mads Burnell. This is where Burnell can get his part of the game in. Nine submission victories for Mads Burnell. Coming off a rear naked choke win over Grand Prix participant Saul Rogers at Bellator 257 in April of this year. Emmanuel Sanchez needs to be very careful how he gets up and where he puts his head. And John, I know you're not wearing the tie tonight. Matt Burnell, known for his Japanese necktie submissions, but this fight has predominantly taken place in the stand-up, and boy, they are throwing punches in bunches. Boy, they have thrown a ton. Both these guys are in shape. They're going to Burnell, although he's taking a lot of shots, he's smiling at Sanchez. A fantastic start here in round number one. Blood trickling down the left side of Sanchez's face. And there's a left hook, right uppercut, combination by Sanchez. Mike Tyson used to deliver combinations like that. Coming up on the final 30 seconds of a terrific opening round between Emmanuel Sanchez and Matt Burnell as Sanchez looks to go skyward. And Matt Burnell going to get on that takedown. Trip takedown secured. Not a lot of time to do anything. 
That's the second takedown of the round, but that is not going to overtake what Emmanuel Sanchez has done in the stand-up. And Sanchez's cut man will go to work at the end of round number one. A terrific start to our co-feature at the Forum. Take a look at some of this action. Baz Brunel always cunning, coming forward, keeping a high guard, but it's Sanchez. Look at the combinations. Beautiful job. Hook to the body, hook, right hand, but Brunel comes with one heavy right hand down the middle. And while not all of the punches or strikes are landing, John, enough have been eye-catching shots. Boy, they have been throwing out a bunch of just combinations here. Sanchez throwing out a three-piece in a soda multiple times. <laughs> Mr. Masvidal approves. <laughs> Here comes Mads Burdell into the takedown, and he needs to do this much earlier on in the fight so he has time to work on the ground. Good. Well, both of them put in big time work in that first five minutes. Second round, buddy, ready. You ready? Strike. And Emmanuel Sanchez, well, he can go all night long. Mads Burnell getting set here in round number two. Keep back, get him up. Eric, get him up. Go back, come up. Don't get around, man. Again. Sanchez coming forward with a bevy of strikes. And John, let's take a look at the strikes landed in round number one. 46 of 125. 125 Unbelievable output by Emmanuel Sanchez. Like I said, he could do this all night long. And he continues to do it here in the opening minute of the second. He loves this kind of fight. This is what he's meant for. Three-punch combination. Bernal standing right in front of him. We mentioned it in the first round, John. He's got to get that head off the center line. He's got to create angles. Yeah, what he's doing is he's using that high guard, but you're seeing, you're seeing Sanchez really dig to the body. And one of those shots, if it hits right, it's going to put Mads Bernal in a bad spot of not being able to suck in air. Again, one-two in the elbow strike across the jaw of Mads Bernal by the whirling dervish, Emmanuel Sanchez. Now going to the body. He's giving that battery buddy a run for his money, man. I'm telling you. And Bernal continues to walk forward, but he's walking through fire. There was a beautiful combination by Bernal. Left hook to the liver, right hand over the top. I don't think he's walking through fire. He's walking into fire. <laughs> Now Brunel with that takedown, a lot of time now. There's a big difference right here, but he needs to be really on Emmanuel Sanchez as far as the use of that fence. Emmanuel's very good at using that fence to get himself up off the ground. And considering what we've seen in the stand-up, Brunel will try desperately to keep Sanchez on the ground. Sanchez already back up to his feet. The veteran going back to the high spot. The body with the left hook and right up a cut on the inside by Sanchez. When you get a takedown like Mads Brunel had, you get nothing from it. That is, that is absolutely deflating as far as your confidence in the fight. Boy, Sanchez definitely did not lie to us when he said he'd be more aggressive. It is an offensive on top, but here comes Burnell now with the taking of the back. But Sanchez doing a good job of risk control. What he's just doing is fighting the hands right now, utilizing the fence as a point of balance. Nice job by Emmanuel Sanchez. And Sanchez doing a good job of going to the body, attacking it like it's filled with candy and some sweet stuff with those elbow strikes. Gone. Sweet strikes inside. You see those Muay Thai elbows coming up from Emmanuel. Lead left hook landed by Sanchez. Those are the type of elbows that slice you because they hit you straight up and down. Teeing off on Mads Burnell, who continues to march forward, trying desperately to stop the onslaught and create some offensive opportunities of his own. Sanchez looking for the takedown. And nothing wrong with that. Oh, 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 well, wow. Talk about timing, Burnell. Ducking underneath that spinning kick by Sanchez. And of course, when you talk about kicks, you got to talk about the kickboxing great Duke Rufus and what he has done at Rufus Sport. Just a fantastic coach, a guy that really has taken to all aspects of, of martial arts. He's just got a phenomenal team. And of course, he has the Bellator MMA Bantamweight champion Sergio Pettis. Minute and a half left in another sensational round here between Sanchez and Burnell. Good dig to the body. Now getting it down again. Now Sanchez in, a, in full guard. We'll see what happens here. 
You hear the corner calling out one minute. They, these guys have not stopped at all. If this pace continues in the third round, we are going to be in for a fantastic finish. It has been terrific through the first two rounds with a minute left now in the middle frame. As Grinnell has been able to pass to at least a half guard. But again, here comes Emmanuel. He's going to use that fence to try to get himself back to his feet. Burnell has been training in Las Vegas at Extreme Couture. Also trains back home in his native Denmark. And with uh, just over 30 seconds left in the second round, Burnell going to try to pass guard into full mount, but Sanchez doing a good job of defending. Uh, I'll tell you what, wherever these guys are training, they're doing a good job of getting these guys in shape because they have put out just an unbelievable amount of energy in this fight and they continue on. Well, we sing the praises of Rufus Sport. They produced a veritable cornucopia of MMA champions and uh, championship heart on display here between Sanchez and Burnell. What a top 10 tilt in the featherweight division as we go to the third and final round. Uh, the strikes that Emmanuel landed during the first part of that round. Third round underway. Talk about adjustments Burnell has to make in order to get back into his fight if your unofficial scorecard is how the judges see. Well, what, I, what Burnell needs to do is he needs he, he was coming forward, but you need to be smart in how you're coming forward and change levels on him. Right now, he's standing right in front of him. Well, I've got to give him a different outlook. i got to start dipping my head off to the side. There you go. Changing levels. So you can't tell when that level change comes. Looks and secures the takedown and will try to make the most of it as Sanchez again. Just unbelievable. Gets back to his feet. And if at first you don't succeed, John. Well, he's making him work for it, but Burnell's got one hook now. Oh, and Burnell. He's a difference in this fight. He can take it over. And this is the theater of truth and very, MMA, the unpredictable theater of the combat sports world. Very smart what you saw with Emmanuel. He was working towards getting his shoulders towards the mat and getting Burnell so he was high on him. Wow, highly competitive affair. And he's using the screen to look up to see where Burnell's head's at. High fight IQ as he delivers those back elbows to Burnell. Now trying to secure the choke from the back mount, but Sanchez continues to defend throwing punches. He is, and right now, Sanchez got a lot of sweat, so Burnell needs to be careful about losing that position. Phenomenal conditioning on display, and you don't expect any less from Emmanuel Sanchez, but Matt Burnell trying to Remain in this position, trying to take Sanchez off his feet again. Well, and I think Mads Burnell is anticipating Emmanuel Sanchez, thinking about rolling through on a Grammy here. There you go. Sanchez now in co side control and. Yeah, but this shows I want just what you're looking at. Manuel Sanchez started off as a kickboxer, a guy that was very good on his feet. And all of this right now, the guy that he is grappling with is outstanding. And you're seeing the skill set that Emmanuel Sanchez has built to, just from hard work. And it, wow, the great scramble there and Murnell ending back up in top position. And regardless of the outcome, what a bounce back performance for Emmanuel Sanchez after getting stopped for the first time in the opening round of the semifinals against Patricio Pitbull. Absolutely fantastic. And Burnell hoping to secure the victory and continue his winning streak. He wants a, a crack at featherweight gold and has looked sensational in his Bellator MMA tenure. Nice job of going to the single leg, keeping his head where it's at to help use that as a third arm to get Emmanuel down. But Matt Sanchez always seems is to be in control, non-stop, it, continues to, to throw punches. It all, it all comes down to this, more think about it. If someone is moving, they're hard to deal with. It's when they stop moving, now they become easy to deal with. And he has never stopped moving. Exactly. We're now trying to keep that leg up off the ground. That'll help him hold Sanchez down, but as time is going by, you see that Brunel is not able to actually get anything on Emmanuel at this point. Sanchez beating Brunel's body like a drum with those hammer fists from bottom. A minute and a half left in the fight. 
Right now you're seeing Emmanuel Sanchez with his, the head. his left arm holding the head, and that's because if he doesn't, he moves that arm, you're going to see Burnell come around his back, and that's why as he was letting go of it, he was flopping his back straight to the canvas. We are coming up on the final minute of this featherweight co-feature at Bellator 263. Number two ranked Emmanuel Sanchez on his back right now, but he has looked sensational in this fight. And Matt Burnell now trying desperately to find a way to steal victory from the jaws of defeat, or at least that's how we both see it. That's Nick, so we see it, but after what we've seen sometimes, they might have given Mads Burnell the second round based upon just being on top. Who knows? But I'm telling you right now, I have Emmanuel Sanchez up. But Burnell continues to stay in top position. Beautiful. And Beautiful job of riding that position out by Mads Burnell. And Emmanuel Sanchez, full 15 minutes. Oh, just continually throwing punches, moving, and Burnell will end the fight in top position, delivering strikes of his own. It'll be interesting to see how the judges score this terrific fight. Wow, John, what a pace for a full 15 minutes. Unbelievable. And even though on the ground, guys. yes, yep. it was still high pace. And that's the whole point. People talk about the ground, oh, it's not exciting. Yes, it is. Yes, it it is. just depends on who is applying those techniques. Check yourself before you wreck yourself if you don't like the ground game. <laughs> Take a look at that elbow right here by Sanchez. Beautiful right across the cheekbone. Comes back with another one. Then a beautiful exchange here. Beautiful combination wow. goes to the body, but a left hook by Mads Burnell. These guys were just slinging leather the entire time. I loved what I saw out of Emmanuel Sanchez. He was nonstop. And you can only do that if you are training your butt off. Beautiful takedown by Mads Burnell. Gets the double leg. But Sanchez right away pushing on the head, trying to work his way out. He goes for the roll here. So what we talked about, we saw say you grab the arm, comes out in the top, on top of that position. Just beautiful technique by both guys. Unbelievable fight. Ladies and gentlemen, for the decision, we'll go to your three cake side judges. Your first, Derek Cleary. Scores the fight 29-28. Well, judges sell the model. Brian Miner, both seen exactly the same. 30 to 27. I'll have it for the winner by unanimous decision. Matt Burnell. A big victory for Matt Burnell. And I have a feeling Emmanuel Sanchez, always the class act, but he's got to be Matt. 30 27, a clean sweep for Matt Burnell, who now has won seven in a row. And I mean, Emmanuel Sanchez taking this loss with the, with class. And let's go to big John McCarthy.